What's up guys, it's Taser and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So pretty much um I'm gonna show you how to create these abstract particles inside of After Effects and we're gonna use Cinema 4D to create a object file to pretty much get these shapes and stuff. And yeah, people ask me how I did the intro of this uh Vactic stunting GTA 5 stunt montage thingy and yeah so here's the tutorial um so what we want to do first is jump into cinema 4d and yeah I already did this tutorial once but after effects crashed and yeah fuck my life um so <clears throat> let me just delete that we're gonna j jump in here and um just create a really abstract fucked up object so yeah i don't really know much about cinema 4d but making things look fucked up is not that hard <laughs> so yeah so we're gonna change the radius to about 300 and change the segments to around 50 so that's gonna give us quite a lot of particles and if there's too many you can always reduce reduce that in uh, inside of trap code form later so yeah let's just grab the platonic object and not do that and just um, pretty much fuck it up using several um, effectors. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the twist effector inside of this and change the size to about 400 by 400 by 400 and then move this up a bit and yeah just change the mode to unlimited and then just twist this up <coughs> till it looks weird. I guess and yeah you can play around with all these settings of course like there's not really something you have to do and you're not gonna see much of the actual object later anyways uh, next thing we're gonna add is the uh, bulge effector and just drop put that in there increase the size to well I think 400 was a bit too small so let's go with 500 by 500 by 500 put this up a bit and then you can use this to, I don't know, fuck it up a bit more I guess. And next thing I'm going to add is the melt effector. And this by default is going to look horrible. So bring down the strength a bit. Uh, increase the right, oh you can decrease the radius actually. That's going to give you kind of a nice look and then just bring this down quite a lot and then just play around with all these settings till you have something that you like and I think I increase the strength a bit more I decrease it a bit more so this is looking quite nice let's bring up the radius a bit more though and so yeah this looks quite weird now and another thing we can add is um, well all these kind of effectors actually but I'm gonna add a taper as well and increase the size again to 500 500 500 drag that in here change the mode to unlimited and then just drag this up a bit and yeah I like the look of that that's looking quite abstract and yeah when you finish doing that just go to file um, export wavefront obj and then just let's just name this tutorial and leave the scale at one so what we're gonna do now is create a new composition let's leave it at 720p 30 frames per second that should be all right and what you want to do then is um, just import the object file you have and there we go so you can't really see this so you just disable it anyways and Let's create a background layer, leave it black, 
and then create a new layout called the strap code form and then just drag a form onto that layer so by default it's a simple grid but we want to change that to the object we just made so just go to base form and then select obj model on the base form go to obj settings and select the layer you just made so let's just create a new camera and let's zoom in a bit on this so we can actually see what we're doing and let's go into the form options let's increase the size a bit like 300 should be fine and alright so what you want to do now is go into the particle settings and change the sp sphere feather and bring it either all the way down or leave it like 5 or something not really a fan of that in this case and let's bring the size down but by the way if, if this is at 1 and you're gonna bring this down it's usually gonna pop off real quick so hold down control while doing this and it's gonna give you some more detail um, so it's at like 0 0.3 now uh, that's bringing up the size randomness to about let's say 25 opacity as well and let's change the color to something rather nice looking so let's go for yeah like a orange-ish or let's go for blue again like in the actual video so yeah I like the look of that and then the next thing you're gonna do is go into uh, the fractal field options effect size 1, effect opacity 1 and that's gonna um, make this a bit more random and another thing we're gonna do is <coughs> bring up the flow y to like 5 bring in the flow evolution to like 10 so as you can see now it's gonna be moving a tiny bit actually let's uh, leave that at 50 no 50 is too too fast let's just leave it at 10 and yeah another thing you can do is bring the displacement up a bit so that way it's gonna change the actual position of the particles as well and yeah so that is pretty much it for the trap code form part what you want to do now is pretty much uh, this all depends on getting like n interesting shots of your whole thing you can like go inside of the actual object and just find something interesting looking I guess I think the th this at the top looks quite cool so let's zoom in on that a bit by the way I'm uh, pressing C to switch between the different camera modes and yeah so what you want to do then is um, bring up your camera options and enable depth of field so this is pretty much what makes this look good and then just play around with the focus distance till you can actually see something that is in focus let's bring this to zero we're just gonna make my PC hopefully not crash again fuck this alright so zero is never a good thing to do like that always makes this fuck up a bit and yeah fast computers for the win so I'm gonna bring down the resolution to like third now and then let's increase that a bit more so there you go um, alright this is looking interesting let's bring this back to full and so 
um, what you want to do then is just play around with the aperture and the blur level so um, if you bring the aperture down it's gonna uh, be less um, like depth of field going on and actually I'm gonna decrease the focus distance a bit more so you can see these particles at the front a bit better and let's bring up the blur level a bit and let's also change the position of the camera a bit because I don't like that weird blob thingy over there and <coughs> What you want to do then is just keyframe the position and uh, focus dis distance and just have a simple animation happening. Or you don't even have to change the position that much because um, the fractal field thingy uh, is going to make the whole particle system move anyways. So yeah, just change that a bit more. Um, and just easy ease those and that's gonna already give us some nice looking animations so yeah this is not perfect like most of this stuff is not even in focus here and but you get the kind of idea and to really hold on a second so yeah sorry about that um, to really like make this look better you're gonna like Let's just add a simple letterbox, proportional grid, let's cut this out, invert it, and then just add some like simple color grading, and let's, let's just add a, oh yeah, another thing you can do is to give these particles like a really nice look is add shine onto the actual form layer, and bring down the ray length all the way and then you can play around with the boost light thingy and then just go into the colorize option and change it to any of these which is gonna give this whole thing like a really nice look and yeah so that is pretty much um, how you do this and just play around with the camera angles depth of field and all that and if you want to have like some uh, animation like I had in the, the that intro where like all uh, all the particles like changed like um, and then added some more text let me just show that to you so like lactic stunting and then it like moved and yeah that's just done using the um, displace option over here uh, by the way I think 25 is a bit too much because since we don't have any um, if we don't have any like movement here like you can see this is just like a period of four seconds it's, like changing quite a lot if you don't want that then just bring down the um, displacement in this to about 10 or something and yeah just play around with the settings till it looks nice and I guess thanks for watching and leave a like if this helped you and if you have any ideas on other tutorials I could do just write them in the comments so yeah, see you guys next time, and bye.